Hello and welcome to Alcaz Park and Escorty for this Provincial Towns Cup semi-final brought to you by SETU Students' Union and KF Media. Coming out to the field there first is Tullo. Uh, we're waiting for the Gory cohort and as we're waiting for Gory we'll go through the Tullo team. Uh, number one, Scott Callback and captain. Two, Jordan Laburn. Three, Tom Cashin. Four, Colin Gorry. Five, Martin Cole. Six, Sean O'Brien. Seven, Killian Murphy. Eight, Stevie Smith. Nine, Ryan O'Neill. Ten, Gareth Fitzgerald. 11, Jack Hanlon, 12, Kiaho Bloomfield, 13, Oren Farrell, 14, Aka Durosolo, 15, Adam Johnson. And on the bench then is Brian Kyo, Corey Hughes, Joe Waters, Paddy Murphy and Scott O'Sullivan. Corey's made the way out of the field now and their team is loose head prop Frank Kavanagh, hooker Kevin Brown, tie head Richard Deere. Second row is Darrow O'Leary and Thomas Jameson. In the back row then Isaac Porter, Ewan Stevenson and Jordy O'Hearn. 9 and 10, Jordy, uh, George Slattery rather and the ever experienced Stephen Duffy. Uh, Cahal Strokes and Brian O'Leary on the wings with Joseph Nocton and Mark Yo captain in the centres and Neil Byrne at 15 uh, the subs then Liam Malloy Keen Byrne Ben Horn Seamus Tompkins and Killian Tompkins match about to get away here now we're waiting for the ball as Tullow play it to the I'm calling it to Belgar then I'm going to Tullow end and Gorey play towards Ross end of the field here in Enniscordy I'm uh, joined with co-commentary here by Noddy Breen Gorey legend and ex-president Nod great to have you uh, Johnny, I wouldn't exactly call me a legend, but uh, uh, I am a, 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 a prominent member down there. But uh, Gory, uh, I don't know who was elected to play with the wind, but there's a strong wind coming from the Ross end here, and it's going to have a major effect, I think, on the game. Both teams. But uh, we're off now. The kick is off there now. The ball is kicked off, and away we go. Yeah, no, absolutely. I don't know if that was a total decision or a Gory decision, but horrible bounce of the ball nonetheless there. Great kick off by Adam Johnson deep into the Gory five metre line. Uh, just on the far side of the field for anyone watching and listening we are camped up on the scoreboard side here opposite the clubhouse uh, just a knock forward there by Gorey bit of panic Noddy there to say in first um, but nonetheless first scrum of the game and this will be a big area of the game for both teams it sure is Johnny and uh, um, Gorey while they have a good scrum I'm just looking at both packs and in this uh, Tolo seem to be uh, very strong there today quite a big pack and uh, it'll be interesting to see how the scrum goes Okay, John. Uh, no, absolutely, will yeah. And there's, there's, there's some big men there themselves. I know a lot of people talk about how big Tullo's pack are, but sometimes technique beats uh, uh, power and size. And we'll see how this one goes. Tullo are looking to go wide here early off this scrum by the look of it. They've uh, two fellas outside the, the goal post, which is very unusual considering this weather. But a uh, very solid scrum there, nonetheless. Good push by Tullo there. Very solid. Just a wheel on it. Yeah, which is probably a fair call. No one in anyone dominance. I think the loose head on this side was dominant for Gorian. The loose head on the Tullow side was dominant there, but reset nonetheless. Hopefully it's not a day of a lot of scrums, Laddie. Hopefully, Johnny. Or we'll be finding a lot of things to talk about. We sure will, but there's a, lot, a big wind blowing here now, Johnny. It's gale force at the moment. Yeah, it's time if you get your penalties. I think if Adam Johnson gets a penalty inside this half, he'll be looking for three. He's a great boot, great football in background, um, and has lots of distance without wind. But so that extra bit of a gale coming from the Ross end here will be... Very beneficial to anyone kicking today. Another set here in the scrum. Tolo break off Stevie Smith. Anyone watching Stevie's wearing number 23 as Tolo retired the number 8 jersey this year earlier in the season uh, for the remainder of the year. Great carry by Martin Cole. Penalty towards the Tolo for not rolling away. Very hard roll away there. Not even Martin Cole's on top of you. And uh, I think so, but they're in for a try. Yeah. Referee Dave Williams has awarded a try to Tolo. And it is Scott Caldwell getting all the praise for that try. So the, the loose heading captain getting that try. Very, very early into the game. We're only two minutes, 30 seconds in. That's uh, Tullow draw first blood. We'll, um, we'll see how much of a part this um, win plays now. And for kickers, if they decide to go low and hard rather than go to height. Because, as you know yourself, now could catch and could go anywhere here. We could that's the thing about it, Johnny. It could go anywhere, but I, I was watching him warming up there uh, beforehand, and he was he was kicking from distance, and he had the accuracy as well. So look, it'll be it, it'll be a good kick to get it in these conditions, you know. Yeah, he lines up now to take it. Adam Johnson, the fifteen, pull up. He strikes it beautiful and well, low and hard as I thought over the bar. Uh, the ever-experienced Paul Canavan bringing in his tee. So if you ever wanted a word of wisdom from anyone who knows how to strike a conversion, there's a man to look to. It's great to have Paul there. Unfortunately, just missed out of the squad to injury. 
Um, I suppose we mentioned our referees there. Um, Dave Williams is the man in the middle. Uh, uh, William Murphy is on our right side or on our left side here. He's on the touch. Will he ever experience man from a tie? A uh, sloppery drop off there by Stephen Duffy, but dealt well by Hacker. Great carry by Hacker. I think that Gory player is in a bit of trouble. Oh, he's going up back up to his feet. It was a very strong carry. Another strong carry by Colin Gorry. Pull a clean out well. The ball is presented early. Playing very wide in this in this weather conditions. Jack Hanlon carrying strong there. Oh. Well put down there. Good carry by tight head Tom Cashin. Held the advantage now coming for Tullo. A good carry by Aka. Now on the inside. Oh. Forcing too many things and a knock on there. Sean O'Brien drops the ball. But Tullo had the penalty advantage nonetheless. Just back outside their own 22 there. So offside penalty advantage. Even with the wind, uh, Tullo has shown intent there. They're trying to run the ball that time. So they just got a little bit complicated, but they had they got the penalty, and that's that's a, a miss kick there by Adam Johnson. He just drives it long. We probably hope the wind will help him a bit more. Um, got inside Gory twenty two, and Stephen Duffy puts clearance right on the halfway line here, straight opposite us in the the club outside of the field. Uh, I think kickers are trying to figure out this wind at the minute. Nolly, what do you think? Oh, Johnny, I wouldn't like to be trying to figure out because it is unbelievable wind. It's gale force into your face, Gory you're playing into, and and uh, Tolo have it behind them, but it's still it's, it's hard to figure out which way it's going as well when you're kicking with it as well. Yeah, that's very uncharacteristic. Even there, we see the line out there going crooked with the wind there. Um, it's very uncharacteristic for Adam Johnson not to find the touch. But that line out throw for Jordan Labour, and they're not a target as well as wouldn't be like him. So may play the conditions a little bit better here. Corey now have the ball just under on 10 metre line. Duffy hits it. Uh, he's met well there by Martin Cole. And Stevie Smith met well to go back for the knock on advantage in the line out. I have a feeling today and that we're in for a long day of knock-ons, crooked throws and scrums. Other than the wind, Johnny, the conditions are dry. The yeah. pitch is absolutely in excellent condition here. And uh, the wind is probably, it's a bit hard to hold on to it because it's moving in the air too when they're passing it or when they're throwing it in. So, uh, look at it. It's, it's not, it's, it's easy for us out here. Yeah, the hurdles and the ditches, the fella yeah, says. very easy. <laughs> <laughs> no, and just for anyone watching there, listen, we have a 50 euro one for all voucher for man of the match. If you guess the man of the match, same as uh, Noddy picks, uh, you're going to uh, draw to win a 50 euro one for all voucher sponsored by uh, Property Partners O'Brien and Swain. And we also have a 50 euro cash voucher, uh, donation to the man of the match himself, uh, kindly sponsored by Noddy. So uh, I'd say lads will be looking forward to that now, getting 50 euro for the bar after the game. Another good contest in the scrum, big push there. Yeah. A penalty gory, Polo tight head losing his feet there, and absolutely correct call, not? Yeah, the correct call, uh, Johnny. Um, you could see him dropping there. He lost his feet in the in the in the uh, with the pressure came on. But uh, Gory now need to get a little bit of ground here and uh, to get his foothold. They haven't had a foothold yet in the in the Tullow half. Yeah, they definitely need to get some sort of change out of this. So option for sticks would be on if Stephen Duffy was facing the other way, but not in this half. So I'd say corner or a penalty move is what he'd be looking for. Just retaining possession. We're going for that corner. He hasn't struck the ball overly well uh, with his four kicks this half. Uh, the throw here in front of us even finding it hard to go forward towards Ross. Wouldn't be like anyone not looking to go to New Ross, but um, he's finding it hard. Stephen gets about uh, about 13 metres on that there. Yeah. Steady enough though and retains possession. So be interesting to see now how the throw goes here. Nice yeah, and simple up at the front. Crooked. Calls it crooked. Gonna be a lot of that today, and I uh, to honestly should let that go nearly that one. Yeah, yeah, he's going to have to if he keeps calling one of them. He may nearly call the whole lot of them. That looks. Uh, or we'll be giving him an awful time here. Yeah, so yeah, he's not yeah. consistent. Yeah. That was Kevin Brown there, the hooker for Gory throwing that. Um, gonna be a hard day for them. Hard day for Ohio's hookers, scrum halves, all of the above nearly. It sure is, Johnny. The lads in the wing are going to have a nightmare in this kick chase game. We haven't seen much of it though. Not even open play. Tuller running with it. Tuller are running into the, into the with the wind at their back and they haven't kicked once yet, Johnny, other than that penalty. Other than the penalty, yeah. It's, it's another good scrum. This time Tuller get the penalty here. More in the sideways. Ah, it's hard to call these scrums. Now. We see it in the professional game even at the minute. A lot of people giving out about scrums. Yeah. And even the junior game, it's causing a bit of a problem. Yeah, but even last night, 
in the Leinster and Leicester game. Yeah, that's it right. It was yeah. a big issue last night, the scrums and how the, the, the referee read them. You know, you some of the players are coming up wondering why, what was the penalty for? Yeah. You know, so that's a kind of a bit of a problem. Even today, Munster and Northampton there, they were the same. A lot of questionable calls for, for the players felt anyway. But, um, yeah, no, Tullo get a penalty here nonetheless on their 10 and just get inside Gorey's 10 metre line with a kick. Had him went for safety this time as opposed to chancing the wind out. Gorey, a very young outfit. Not a new Northern Baird line. I know a lot of them, but a very young outfit and up and coming. I know he got relegated to show the league, but maybe a building phase and it maybe might be a, the blessing in the skies you needed. It might be, Joe. They are young, uh, but still we have a few experienced lads there as well, you know. So, uh, uh, But that that young, young Stevens now seven there. He's only... This is his second year, uh, second year playing senior. He was on the seconds last year, and he's worked his way up this year, and he's d d doing really well. You know? Yeah, a fine player. You and I know, I know his dad quite well, and he's older brother Lloyd. Um, a fine player, and uh, yeah, but it's great to see. Yeah. I suppose the exclusion is Stephen Duffy. Everyone else is probably relatively young. Other chaps. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the, 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 the <laughs> old out there to keep keep the head on the dog <laughs> for the road and the pump for the bat, as they say. But even your captain there, uh, Mark. Mark's 23, is he, I believe, 22, 23? Mark Kyo's 23, yeah. he's a very fine player, Mark. Yeah, a great a great person, though, as well. Yeah, lovely, great person, yeah. Lovely guy. Yeah, which is very, very important now. That's a good line. Yeah, a good line of Gory up in the front there, just inside Tullo's half. Looking to get them all going, and they get it going, but they're brought to the ground and sacked well by Tullo. Stephen keeps it nice and tight now with the play. Met well by Gareth Sherlin, eight, Stephen Smith there. Just inside the, the Gory half they are. Carry now with Mark Kyo. Carries just inside to the Tullo half. They're getting yards every carry here, Gory, to be fair. They're sticking nice and tight. Old fashioned rugby ball up the jumper stuff. Sending two lads only into the breakdown, just getting over with it. Moving it well now, they're heading towards the clubhouse side here. Still haven't got over the gain line, Johnny? No, they're back and forward, they're over the halfway, but again. never over that yeah, gain yeah, line, yeah, which they're, is. Uh, they're, yeah, they're, they're calling, retention is very good, though. Yeah. Outside of the try line, the gain line is the most, next most important line. Yeah. So. Uh, they're going well now. A big carry there. They broke the game line there with that one. Yeah. Uh, Tullo's solid indeed now, to be fair to them. They're very narrow, but solid nonetheless. Uh, the feel should got change out of that one, I thought. Stephen moves the ball well. Ewan wasn't uh, wasn't expecting that. Maybe a little too flat. Stephen Smith has turned Stephen it over Smith off Mark Joe. Over for Tullo. Robbed it. Uh, wrong lad to run into there. Stephen Smith. Uh, or Farrell now boots into the corner. Probably good option. Poor execution, maybe. Yeah, good option. Poor execution. Brings us back right into our half. The idea was very good. Yeah. Uh, because he'd had a 50 20 there and uh, just barely went out over the end line. Yeah. And then, like, they're the things, little risk, no reward. But if they pay off, you're a hero. Yeah. You know, and that one obviously hasn't now. So yeah. we'd set for another scrum. Um, we'll watch another scrum here in front of us now. As the Gory lads get closer, there's, there's, there's uh, some fine big men in the Gory side there as well. Second old, big strong men there. Um, Darrell O'Leary and Thomas Jameson. And even Isaac Porter and, and Jordi Ahern in the back row, there's a, no shortage of size either. Tullo scrum coach Louis Kikine shouting in instructions here. Won't be happy with that penalty against Tom Cashin, is he? Louis has spent an awful lot of time working with Tom. A very experienced high head Louis himself. He's won two town scrubs at Tullow. He's gone down there on his knee. The scrum has imploded there. Um, needs to get a handle on this now because if nothing else, not if someone could get hurt here if the referee that's doesn't get a handle on it. That's the thing, Johnny. The whole thing is uh, player welfare here and to, to make sure the two front rows are safe and no one gets hurt. Yeah. So, uh, obviously that one went down and I don't know who brought it down, to tell you the truth, Johnny. But, but I'd say yeah. both players... Uh, he spoke to both. Now, to be fair, to referee David Williamson, he did speak to both. But uh, what could be worrying for the Gory side is they've, they've lost uh, their sub-prop this weekend. So Ben Horn, while he won't go backwards either and there's no back in Ben Horn, but he mightn't be as experienced as Eddie Downs in that, in that tight head and loose head positions. So if things go to pop for the front row here normally, uh, your, your, your second options wouldn't be as strong as you're, you'd like not, would they? Not Johnny, uh, we're kind of a little bit weak there, I think, looking at it there now. Uh, yeah, with Liam Malloy there. Yeah. Sorry, penalty. It's another penalty. He's saying Tullo were boring in. Uh, now, I found it hard to believe, but that's what he's calling. Um, it was Gory going forward, so if Gory are going forward, it's very hard to see how you call it. 
I thought he was born in, but. Nonetheless, Gory have a penalty just two metres inside the full of half. Uh, Duffy has nedged him just outside the 22 here now. Their first real attacking threat, Nolly, to be honest, Wood. It is Johnny, but it's, it's still very hard to get any ground with that wind. He's midway, he's kicked from the half, and he got it between the 22 and the 10. So look, at there's a player down over here now at the moment. Uh, the Gory winger is down. Yeah, just receiving a bit of attention to his yeah, ankle. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, and it's got called back here and talking to the referee. Scott's very experienced, prop himself, a Leicester youth, uh, a Leicester 19, and obviously spent a bit of time in the AIL with Wanderers as well. Uh, knows the trade, and Louis has gone in now to give a message to Tom Cashin again. He, he would feel hard done by here on this scrum. Um, but uh, look, the cause of the cause, and unfortunately, uh, uh, you can't play the game without referee. Well, he has, uh, that's what, even looking at the game last night, Johnny, between Leinster and Leicester, he, the, the players were just flabbergasted at some of the calls, and they didn't know what they did wrong. Yeah, you wonder what should be paid <laughs> and be paid professional for that's it. this lad's coming in and, and having his own show at. Nonetheless, we, we go with him, and at Junior Rugby, you have to appreciate the referee. We don't get him. Uh, we don't have him, we don't have games, so we keep going up. Good line up by Gory there now. They've split half them all there when the second carry. Hopefully, they don't get isolated. He's called, tackles the ball, must release. Running into Martin Cole and Stevie Smith, the keeper, not the big men. Uh, I'm not going to get much change out of that. Strong carry there by Gory. Gory winger, and straight off their feet, Gory. Go out to break down, which is uh, unlucky for them because it was the first bit of change they had, and that was a great carry by Brian O'Leary, to be fair. Um, he got him well off his, off his wing and carried well. Bit of off the ball there. Ryan O'Neill and the back rowers for a line. Ryan likes to bike at these back rowers. We tell him to stay away from him. He'll be a bit bigger than you. Go easy. Sorry. Well, he's not getting huge ground, even with the wind. No, he's not, because no. he's coming across that field. I think if you had a better angle there, he'd be all right there. But he nearly had a go with that one further down the wing. Yeah. I think so, yeah. Let Gory play out with. Yeah. Um, he's just got inside. He's about three metres inside, four metres inside the Gory 10. He's out of his own half, which is uh, which is yeah. promising. So, um, hopefully now they can retain this line now and don't do anything silly or untoward to try hit the back on a day like today. Up at the front, there's a lot of movement here. I don't know where this one is going. There's an awful lot of movement. To Went to the front to Sean. The carries met well there. Great tackle there, McGorry. Ryan O'Neill now pops it up there to Tom Cash and Martin Cole. Board of Column Gary, great clean out. Ryan hits Gillian Murphy there. A great tackle there by Gorry. Side, actually. Yeah. The side. I thought so too myself. Yeah. Sean O'Brien now on the carry here. The very no side is getting a lot of change out of these carries. Aho Bloomfield there going to the line. A good counter hook now there, but going to win the ball back. Mark uh, Mark Kyo has introduced Adam Johnson to a gory tackle. Super uh, hit by yeah, Mark Very, Kyo. very. Going uh, to well, knock on the ball. And, and if you can't tell, myself and Noddy are surrounded by a lot of gory people, <laughs> if you can't tell. That was uh, some couple of great tackles there by yeah. Gory Mark. Great defensive particular. effort. Great defensive effort. Um, it's, the, it's the one way Gory have of staying with Tolo in this game is to put pressure on them and, and be up first. They have to get their line speed right. Yeah. And that's it, it does make a big difference, doesn't it, Johnny? Yeah, no, absolutely. I tell you one thing I haven't seen in a long time. I haven't seen Tolo make uncharacteristic errors like that, knocking on the ball and stuff in the contact. So that'll tell you how good a defensive effort Gory are putting in. That was a very, very important hit by Mark Yoda to, to hit Adam Johnson there. He needed to hit him and hit him well. He did. Another scrum here now where there's been penalty either side. And it's all been on this side in front of us with the loose head from Gory and the tight head from Tullo. Now, now I, I see that has the Gory loose head boring there, but I could be wrong. Uh, but the Gory lads in front of me would disagree with me. And there's a lot of them. Lucky I have Noddy here with me to help me out. Even up the affair. Very partisan crowd here, Johnny. Yeah. One tall lad and the red lad here in front of me and the rest is boring. <laughs> oh, the red will start up, huh? There's no sure now. Yeah. Another scrum a reset great, here. A great former player for Tullo, the red. Oh, great club man, absolutely. Great, great, club, great club, club man. Great player as well, yeah. Johnny. A tough base stuff, I believe. Yeah. Could have, Jersey could have went blind. Yeah, he could have went blind. It was absolutely on. Yeah, yeah. This, scrum, this, scrum, this scrum is becoming a mess, though. For anyone watching there, it's becoming a big mess here. Someone is going to get hurt here with uh, scrumming going on like this. A, a slappery kick through by Stephen Duffy. 
Gathered up by Ake, do it solo. Great carry by Ake. After breaking three tackles, offload to Sean. Lad came out of nowhere like a sniper. He took Sean out there. Sean went to offload again, maybe one too many. Corey retained possession now. They're just on the halfway line. Just now entered the total half. Counter rook is very, very good. Put Corey under pressure in the attack. Another great carry there. In fairness to Gory, they're putting, giving, they're having a good go at at a at Tolo carrying the ball with the wind. You know, there's Frank Cavanagh playing and making a lovely break. Yeah, no, they are absolutely. And there's been a lot of scrappy play here in front of us. Uh, some things were forward, some things were dropped on. I don't know. It's just we'll just go with it and see what happens. Play the game and go to calls that are made by Dave Williams in the middle here. Yeah. Off their feet, Turn Gory. Ah, straight over. in the side and off their feet. So you can pick your choice of penalties. Very, very sloppy, Johnny. To be fair, both teams in the attack. Yeah, there's no one. It's nearly all of this half in line, Johnny. It's between the It's great for us. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to do a whole lot of movement around here to see it. Uh, but uh, good contest so far. Yeah, good contest. But teams, maybe, look, maybe this joint a bit of panic, I suppose, as well. It is a Towns Cup semi final. and Gory's third visit to one and Tuller are obviously looking to retain. So after winning the Towns Cup final last year, beating uh, Kilkenny 24 20 in a tie that glorious day. And then Gory have only had this their third entry into a semi final, which is a very surprising for me. I didn't think I thought Gory would be uh, up there with the, the highest of highs in this rank. But you learn something new every day, as they say. Tuller go up into the middle on the big man column, Gory. It was a very poor pass there, but gathered by Stevie Smith. A great carry by Stevie Smith there. Um, it's very hard to take Stevie High, the lowest, the only, only solution. Great carry by Gary, Gary for sure there. Orrin Farrell now carries into the Gory 22. The dugout's in our way, but for Lucas made a clear first pers- 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 we can see. Scott Callback, another good carry. Getting no change out of this Gory defence, though, to be fair. Uh, going well here now, good carry there again. Great tackles. I think oh, that's a penalty, Gory. No, he's given a penalty, Tolo. I think that should have been a penalty, Gory. Now, to be honest with you, Kevin Brown was on that ball. Uh, very surprised at that call, to be honest with you. Tolo still don't know really who, whose ball it is, but they're playing with it now. Penalty advantage on the 22 straight in front of the post. So, now you'll imagine if this comes back without a seven, which could happen here, Adam Johnson will take the three. Hopefully, they still have that penalty advantage now. I'd say they have, Johnny. Because they haven't actually broke again, line, to be honest. Martin Cole, a good carry. The wind is gone. wind is taken, but we have that penalty advantage. Not gone there. He's come back from the penalty. It's uh he's gone a little bit further than where he was originally. He's gone really in field here. So he's come out to the 15, uh, four meters inside the Gory 22. This will be interesting to see what they call now. They're going to tip and go. Sean O'Brien has tipped and went. Um, referee has called him back. But it's uh, a lot of messing going on here. A bit of messing, actually. No, I wouldn't say a lot, but a, lot, a bit of it going on here. You'd normally take your three and cup rugby here. With a boot like Johnson behind you. I imagine they should go for They won't be going for the scrum because they're not going to change in the scrum. Um, You'd imagine they'd go for the kick there, Johnny. I tell you, I don't know what they're doing here. Scrum. They've got a scrum. Well, no, I had that comment here at first before, but... Uh, wouldn't be my choice of thing to go to. But nonetheless, we'll go with it. See how they get on. You'd be kicking yourself here if they give away a penalty. Just a scrub just on the 15 meter line inside the um, Gory 22, but four meters inside the Gory 22. Scrum is hauling. Great right, scrum there now, to be fair to him. Carry by Aka. Oh, Aka will get changed on his carries. He had to break in three lads there with a carry. Ryan, quick early ball to Sean. Sean on the inside to Martin Cole. Martin Cole, a great carrier. Off the feet. Yeah, I think so too, lads. I'm not going to lie. Lost forward by Stephen Smith there. Sorry, have it. Lost forward by Stephen Smith. Wasted opportunity, Nod. Yeah, surprised. I'm surprised Tullo didn't take the three points, Johnny. I think the. You know, when they're seven up, another three points, and it's what stage of the car? It's twenty-five minutes on now. I'd say, is it? Yeah, twenty-five minutes on. You're set. You're seven nil up. Like yeah. get that, get that two-score game. Exactly. You know. Exactly. That's what I'd be going to. And when we're on about the game, here we're just going to mention that this game is sponsored by SETU Students Union, a primary representative body 
for all SETU students across its three campuses. Uh, Charlie Ward there has told me to keep the Tullow accent at bay. Thanks, Charlie. It's a great, great input for you from you there. Um, stick to playing Ruby there, Charlie, as I'd say to you. Gosh, if you can't have a lap, now you'll have nothing else when all these scrums are going on. I think this is the 10th scrum of the game. Uh, with you, my right, Johnny. I wanted to see a hook fest, I would have went to a nightclub. <laughs> Three o'clock in the morning, you'd see a lot of this going crack going on. A lot of scrums in it, Johnny. Story of breaking with Jordan Herner's going away with it. Oh, that's a super carry and a lame tackle, if anything else, by Tullow 10. Gareth for sure, it was lazy nonetheless. Um, Gory fans here feel that Tullow are giving away a lot of infringements. Duffy gets height on this, but bad height. I'd actually come uh, back very bad height because that winger's actually ahead of Mark. That's a Tullow ball deep into the Gory 22. That's strange now, not. In the place to put it, Johnny. It wasn't a Picasso paint and then we have a kick. I got actually more height than distance. Oh, I can't say the same about myself. I have more distance than height, but you have a bit of height, Dodd, if you heard you. Colour now go up the front and win it there well on Colin Gorry. One thing I haven't seen him do today is a ball and they get one going now and it's going well. Going well now. Penalty advantage and the ball is playable. Ball is playable and it is a try. It is a try. Getting up at that ball. There's Ryan O'Neill. There's still a scrum half. Not a place you find a scrum half in the back of a mob. Greedy wouldn't let Jordan Labour take it, maybe. Could be a battle of the farmers there trying to one up each other. But it's five points for Tullow nonetheless. That puts the game at 12. 12 nil. So that makes me and you look a bit stupid now, Noddy. Saying they should have took the three. I know it wasn't the same phase play, but. It wasn't the same as Johnny. <laughs> there was about seven or eight after, but we came nonetheless. Well, this, this is a strange thing. Gory people can't hear Noddy Breen, which wouldn't be normal. But now gets that whole mic up to the mouth there. We'll get you going, Nod. Okay. I'll I will have a laugh at you if nothing else. Yeah, sorry about that, folks. He's not really sorry. He really doesn't care. But uh, he let on, he does. Hey, Barry. Had him now with a conversion attempt here, just on the five metre line, halfway between the 10 and 22. So if I have to rough guess my experience in Mark and Ruby pitches, it's 18 metres from the 22 to the 10, and he's about 10 out, so he's 32 metres with a bit of an angle. We go for about 36, not would we? I'd say so, John. Anyone watching will tell me I'm wrong. We'll make... Good effort. It's a very good effort. Uh, I think that's that is straight between the sticks. Straight that... between the sticks. That's something he primes himself on. That was some kick now. Absolute brilliant kick. That puts the score at 14 points to nil. And a reminder as well that there is a man of the match award, uh, a 50 euro voucher. Up for grabs, sponsored by uh, property partners O'Brien and Swain, Gory. So if you guess the same um, man of the match is Noddy here, you're in with a chance to uh, win that 50 euro voucher. So, how, oh, Ryan, knock forward here by Ryan, just inside, outside the 22. Actually, with this win, it's nearly the furthest Gory have been in. They're just on the 22 nearly. It's nearly the first time they've got on the 22. I think Stephen should do that a little bit more. Try challenge the back four or back three in the, off the drop-offs. Yeah. Well, you'd be hoping you wouldn't have too many more drop-offs, Noddy. But, yeah. you know, maybe one at the, at the second half. But nonetheless, a uh, lot of uncharacteristic errors there. Now, to be fair, a lot of drops. From experience, fellas, you wouldn't see doing it, you know. Mm. Another scrum here now, Johnny. We Gory, start selling no. scrums with that many of them to spare here. Gory really need to get some change out of this now in the next 10 minutes. Yeah, if we get even something on the board to keep, to keep him in touch for the second half. Mm -hmm. How will you find Sunday Ruby next year, Nadia? I know you, you got promoted in 2014 yeah. 15 season. Look at Johnny, you have to go. This is where we are now. And I think we have a good few young lads coming through. And and we can keep a few of the older lads next year. We look at we have to go where we are, and that's it, Johnny. You have to play the cards you're dealt. You have Absolutely. to play the cards yeah. you're dealt. Well, Jim, a great seat up in Division 1A. Eh? You're there since, like I said, 2014 15. We're there uh, a long time already, yeah, Johnny. Yeah. Relegated uh, yeah. this year, which uh, look at you were second You were second last year, and yeah. uh, a penalty here to throw it out. Uh, what's yeah. he calling here now? Because I uh, think he's calling holding on. Holding Stevie on. Smith. Yeah, Stephen Smith. Stephen Smith, Smith playing yeah. very Jordan's well. in trouble here now. Jordan it's, Hearn. It's worrying because he's hurting an ankle and. and, and yeah. Not being funny for anyone watching, but a bigger man on the ankle there is not simple, you know, yeah. it puts a lot of pressure on them. So, 
Gory Gory Jordan gets crucial, up. crucial to the Gory back row now. He's a class player. He's a whole Gory. Yeah, 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 he is, honest, and yeah. has been for years. A yeah, great servant yeah. to the club. Yeah, a good lad now, to be fair. Yeah. God, I'm surprised it's something, though. I'm surprised that you've only been to th- semi finals at Towns Cup. That's all, Johnny. Yeah. Three semi finals. Yeah. This being obviously your third one, but yeah. in 1998, I think it was the other one, and 2019 against Tork. 2019, 1998, 1988 or 89. Yeah, the year in the Scarty actually won it. We played Mullingar in the. Semi final up in the Curra. In a 6 3 thriller. And a 6 3 thriller at the <laughs> when, when it was dangerous. And uh, Innes Carty actually beat Mullingar in the final then. Tell me, was that a time when the tries were four points or was I that two penalties? I can't remember. <laughs> it's that long ago. It's that long ago. I'd say it was four. <laughs> well, nonetheless, Tullow had a late, late go to Towns Cup, obviously their first final in 2008, losing that one narrowly. Next one, 2011, then 2012, losing both of them. And that glorious day came for Tullow then in the tie, beating Scarry's 20 points to three. Um, and an incredible day for, well, I, I would say a day was a stretch now, an incredible week or two weeks for the club. The, the women won the Paul Flood Cup that year, and the seconds got to the final of the Towns Cup. Uh, a mirror of last year, the women and men doing very well last year as well for them. But I have to, noble mention to the Tullow women who actually play in the AIL playoff final uh, next Sunday and got a walk over in the Paul Flood Cup semi final uh, this Wednesday, so they have a week off now before they play that final. So they could uh, gain AIL status for Tullow Rugby Club, which would be an incredible thing for the club. And Parish and anyone that has ever been involved in the maroon and white to see AIL status in the Black Gate. So best luck to the women in all their, their future games. Uh, two finals. This is a big high ball now for young Yeah, and this could bounce deep, dirty. It's gone deep. It bounced dirty it's and went deep, over. yeah. That's the danger, though. Putting mm. those big balls up, the wind is going to carry it. And he was well inside his own half, and it still carried it way out over the dead ball. Line. He's getting a lecture off uh, Master and Sermon. He's over there, Sean O'Brien. Uh, Sean's looking for a job in any college just going there in lecturing if anyone wants to hire him he'd make a good teacher Johnny yeah he would yeah excellent I wouldn't question him anyway no nor me either well guess what we have now Nadi we have another scrum yeah which is a great day for scrums <laughs> and not a dropper they ain't a great day for scrums <laughs> uh. yeah a lot of scrums in it Johnny uh, a lot of knock-ons a lot of mistakes now, I see that. I I see that as the gory. I see that as the gory. Luke's head bored now. Nadia, am I wrong there? Well, uh, I'm you're a gory man. I am a gory man, and I don't know. <laughs> well, I'm going, better... to, I'm going to plead ignorance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I see it as the gory. Luke's head bored. You know, to be honest, but that's yeah. just my. Well, it depends on the way the the tight head is going. If the yeah, head is going yeah. away from because if you look at when if he's losing his hips, I yeah, suppose. He's yeah, losing his hips. Yes. Uh, Frank Cavan actually is a good. He's oh, great scrummager. Great scrummager. Scrum yeah. Spent a bit of time yeah. in Lansdowne yeah. there. And again, the only young fella, he's about 22 or 3. He has, he, he was played in the AL final with Lansdowne a couple of years ago. Yeah. Very good player, yeah. though, to yeah. be fair to him. So he's an experienced player. Yeah, knows his stuff. Knows, knows his stuff. stuff. There's no doubt. Yeah, no doubt. They're lined up by Gory. They're taking well. Gory are executing the line out an awful lot better. That's not crooked in. I don't think so. It's a free kick, so a free kick wouldn't be for crooked. No. I think he's called an early lift. I thought that was a bit harsh now, yeah. Johnny. Tell you the honest truth now, you know. Yeah. Oh, Jamie. Stevie Smith. Tom Cashin didn't want that ball, nor expect it. Neither did Gareth for sure, but nonetheless, they're playing with it. So on, the, on their own 10 meter line here, just right in front of us. Sean is going to do something of oh, not really, no. They get smashed. There's two lads on the ground. There's, there's two oldest boys in the field. I don't know whether that's a gory ladder or a total ladder letting her roar, Sean, but someone's telling them to go up anyway. Yes. Jordan Labour, good carrier, just on the 15 metre line, far side of the field, inside their own 10 metre line, looking to go wide with hands. Sean O'Brien is putting boot the ball, and like the exact same mirror thing as what Horan done, which is lower. Got more of a bouncer. Gory are inside the too. Duffy's going to go for a run here, I think. Oh no, he, he opted out, he gave it to the younger lad, and done the support. I think Tuller on that. Tuller on that, yes. That wasn't a good move there by Gordon. Very, very silly by Stephen Duffy. He should have just put the ball there, Joe, yeah. or not. Uh, he should, Johnny. I think he should have stuck that down because it's very hard. And this is, I, uh, well, I'd be, oh no, he's going to the corner. They're going for the juggler here. Going for the corner. They're looking to get maximum points out of his half, I suppose, what he can get with the wind behind him. Well, that, was can... a, that was the generosity of Gory. Johnny gave that one away. Now oh, yeah. Tullo got with this for points now. It's a Gory yeah, mistake. A gory, big Gory mistake. Yeah. Yeah. Tullo didn't get far with that, though. They're just. Probably 10 metres from the line there. Right. Martin Cole's father is beside me now, warming up Tiger there, if you can hear. 
Come on, Tiger. I'd say he's more of a silverback now than a Tiger, but we'll go with him. Or Isaac Warner turned that over wonder. there. Yeah, absolutely did. We apologise for any bad language you can pick up there from them glory fans. Wouldn't be like him, Noddy, would it? Wouldn't be like him. Here to go to have a Here break. Here to go to Greg Carey. Oh, oh he just threw it to no one. Threw it to nobody. Gathered up there by Tolo 13 and Warren Farrell. Another gory mistake. Clinical errors here. Going to cost the game here. Keep it simple now. Tolo carry hard here through Aka. An offload there to Johnson. Johnson hits Fitzgerald. And there goes Jack Hanlon now. Jack Hanlon, a former Leinster U2. Scored four tries in the Interprovincial Final, actually, back in 2019. 20 to win an Interpro. Captain by Connor Duffy at that time. That's that's not gone. Not a deal. Uh, no way. I, I would agree with you, Noddy. I think uh, the, the nine knocked it on. He dove on the ball, which is playable. But harsh decision. I think Tuller will take the three here. He should, Johnny. <laughs> If they don't, I think Morris is, isn't happy about a lot of decisions. Yeah. He's, um, I'd nearly kicked that now. That's kickable. Absolutely. And Adam's favourite side and everything. Yeah, yeah. Adam wanted. Yeah, Adam calls it. Of course it. he should kick it. Yeah, That's yeah, sensible. Yeah. Yeah. Smart. Smart, decision, Smart yeah. decision. Of course it is. It puts three scores between them. You know. There's only about four or five minutes left now. Yeah, we're 34 minutes in with a bit of stoppage. Uh, and its score is at the moment 14 nil to Tullow. With the wind in their back on the Ross side. Playing towards Tullow. So... Johnson's kicking this ball home. Um, Gory, 17, it puts this over, be 17 nil down, and I happily say 10 of it is Gory's own mistakes. That's a wider 17 nil down. That That's straight between the sticks there. That's uh, yeah. that's over. Good kick. Like that last try came from Stephen Duffy's poor kick clearance, yeah. and that penalty here coming from a, a very poor decision. Yeah. So, um, Look at the it's a long way to go still, but the oh, need to get is. something out of the, there. There's five minutes, four or five minutes left now to the break. And yeah. Gory need to get something here. Yeah, no, absolutely. Then they, they rally their heads now, if nothing else, you know. Joe needs to uh, Joe and the, and the management team here need to rally their heads up and Good get them kick. right. A great drop off. Uh, Stephen Smith should gather this though. Great football in background. Stephen's brother JJ played for Carlo there. I'm sounding like Brendan Hennessy now mentioning football. But uh, great football in background. I tell you, Noddy, if Leinster Ruby want to find referees, the best place to come is a game. Jack Hannon is a rocket. He's going. Here's a, here's a. Ah, Duffy threw a shot in there. Bounced off him and a Warren Farrell. Man of the match last week. Looks back at Duffy after that shoulder shot. Under the sticks and a strike for Tullow. That puts it there now at 22-0. Again, glory errors. Got caught hopping on the wing there. Look at you can't make errors like that at that level, Johnny. Uh, Tolo, funny story there. And uh, we just ran out with bodies then defending on the far side. Yeah, that just got caught in a hop there. Tolo's counter attack was yeah. very good there. Yeah, it was a brilliant counter attack. To be it. fair to them, uh, they got two carries inside their own place and then brought forward there into the gory half. And Jack Allen is uh, as fast to come. Maybe he, maybe Martin Goldsfire should be called him Tiger because he's probably as quick as one Martin, wouldn't be? Adam adds the extra two there. That now puts it at 24 points to nil in Colo's favour. With a second half to come and a second half with the win behind Gorey. But no doubt Stephen Duffy will find acres in the field here. Gorey just need to rally their heads now a little bit. Uh, and also it seems like a big task. But the, Yeah, they haven't, Johnny, they haven't been inside the Tullow 22. Yet. That's important. And that is important. Yeah, if it, you don't get in there... You're you're not going to create any chances, you know. Even if they're in it, even if they got that now, yeah, even if they're in, in it, there, yes. And play a bit in it and yeah. figure out what's about, you know. Yeah, yeah. A great drop off. That's a brilliant drop off. Well played drop off there by Stephen Duffy. Rolls back in his favour. Tolo hung deep, thinking Stephen was going to go long again. That's showing the experience there now, Stephen Duffy. Well, that's knocked uh -huh. on, and yeah, I think so. Well, uh, he knocked it on that contact. Anyway, that's another counter attack here by Tolo. They're going to that edge very quickly. Great hands by the thirteen from Tolo Oren Farrell. Um. I tell you, Tullo, oh, oh, uncharacteristic. I hope Bloomfield dropping the ball. But surely there's an advantage. No, uh, no, no advantage. We're playing on. We're playing on. Just let him play. One less scrum, Noddy. Jay's ran into Killian Murphy and Stephen Smith. That is a bad choice. I, <laughs> I could think of a lot of yokes I want to do in life. That wouldn't be one of them. Again, someone said that. The word we shouldn't use on, on telly, we apologise. 
Glory get the penalty, and it's about time, as the fans say. Like I was saying, if Leinster Ruby want to recruit referees, there's loads of them. There's here. lots of them here in front. There's probably a thousand on the line. Yeah, yeah. There's thirty on the field, thirty one yeah. on the field. Uh you're not offside if the penalty is inside that ten meter line and they're on their halfway. Yeah, there were ten yards. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. They were well in it. Glory needs to attack and attack wide because Tolo have a centre down. So I the width. To see him down. I don't think so. Stephen's kicked it, which is. Jesus like that, uh, the wind is not helping Stephen Duffy, but yeah. a player of his experience, I think he'd be playing too low and hard as opposed to high and, yeah. and, and, and long. Yeah. That's uh, Tullo's line out now. They're down a player here, down injured in the middle. With, with probably three or four minutes left. Orn actually plays with myself in the, in the college there. He's a type 1 diabetic, so he's probably just getting a sugar boost or a hit or, or something to lift himself back up. It'd be great to see lads of his uh, uh, abilities playing. Ball riding type one dive back. Ten years ago, he wouldn't be allowed to play. Um, so it's, it's just a, a blood check now. If nothing else, yeah. he's up on his feet. And he's he okay. Yeah, he's good to go. Camera has the pouch there. Yeah, just a little blood check. Yeah. So Tullo line out now, just inside Tullo ten meter line. Um, we see Kenneth Deacon here, a stalwart of Gory as well. Not easy. Yeah, Surely going to Gory Hall of Fame soon, will he? He will. He's moving at top speed across oh. here, Johnny. i never seen him move as quick. Yeah, really top speed. Kenneth. He's went from the, the turtle to the rabbit on the lawnmower. <laughs> uh, an hour lad from Fionn Hickey, Fionn Hickey here coming on beside him. Uh, I told Ken in the bar I was going to get a few digs at him, so <laughs> I have to throw a few at him. <laughs> Scott Orn has actually been taken off. Farmer has taken off the field. Aka has now moved into the centre with Scott Sullivan coming onto the wing. Uh, Scott has had a, a bumpy season this season in Tullo. He's lost his uh, confidence a little bit, lost his pep in his step, but hopefully he can find it back. That's a big loss to Tullo. I lose Noren Farrell defensively. He's absolutely excellent. Um, and Scott needs that big performance, so hopefully he can he can get deliver he can deliver here today. Going to the tail and a great throw to the Some tail. Throw to the tail. Well, you have a draw like Jordan Laburn's Cape Billy there, Kilkenny College School, a good Tullow chap, lives up Tullow Hill there. Plenty of youth rugby. Now, that's a, a mistake. It could be a turnover. But uh, they, they they are just well able to throw a ball. Uh, uh, I can't see the ball from here, so I don't know how they can see it, but they're calling it's not there. Tullow are playing with it nonetheless. We might have a zoom in on the camera there, Keenan might say, show you where the ball is, maybe. There's a big kick. Gareth is sure with a little chip through and Stephen Duffy is too far away to win a foot race. With he won it. He won it nonetheless. Yeah. Uh, they're in big trouble here. That was ahead. That was ahead. No, I think that's a wrong call. That's a wrong call. Well, my, my opinion, that's a wrong call. And may his head in the pass. I think that's a harsh call. Um, may his head in the, in the contact. I thought it was a hand, Johnny. Oh, hand, I don't know, I don't know. The, the glory lads are all turned on me. I ain't going to stick with hits. I can't say what I want to say on here, but I can, I can show them. <laughs> we'll go back on the replay. John. He's a big old head. He's a big old head. His hand. Nobody listens to Noddy nowadays. <laughs> now, that'll be that'll be a shocker now. Tullo will have to play the, the opening nine minutes or eight minutes of the second half with 14 men. And a, uh, a big win. Oh, geez, Stephen Duffy. Well done, Stephen. <laughs> he's not having a great day this kicking. Uh, he he started. High, yeah, he started on the gory ten, and he went between the halfway and the gory ten. Uh, wind isn't in his favour. So, look, Tullo will have to play an over forty men, and, and very lucky they have. Oh Lord! A crooked throw gathered by Tullo nine breaks two contacts. Gets well met by Frank Kavner. Uh Frank done well. I'm looking at the scoring defence here. They're holding lads in the blind and every one of Tullow's players bar one is on the open side, which is very foolish by Gorey because if they get air stiff here, Johnson is gone. He's gone straight through. What are they at with this five lads in the backfield? Not if the five lads in the backfield, he's off his feet. But they've won it. Gorey yeah. won it. Yeah, penalty Gorey. He's so off his feet, he, he might as well be kneeling in the next field. His two knees were on the grass and his hands. No, they were on the player. Ah, nutty. That's off your feet. And on the ball, not. I don't think he'll be kicking this one, Johnny. He tips it. He's putting it out. He didn't have any more to do with it. Right decision. Best decision. Stinker of a half. I'm going to bring in a lad here with me here now. The red lad, as we were talking about him. 
Do give him that viewer mic there and all, if you don't mind. Well, Red, what do you make of that? Well, Tuller started off 100 mile an hour, Johnny. Got a good score. But then the line out became a lottery for Tolo. Gory, Gory had a very good spell after 10 minutes of the, second, of the first half. And uh, we'll have to go back to our game plan. We'll have to get our big players in contact, which we're doing now. But hopefully now, that's a 20 points win, Johnny. It's a 20 points win. Yeah, absolutely, so we'll yeah. Have to, we'll have to uh, batten down the hatches and play cute rugby. Yeah, hold on to this 24 points. I thought we didn't use the wind enough. enough. And then we had a few dead ball kicks, you know, which you can't be doing this I stage. think would they, would they knock your confidence to a pop? Maybe they're trying to hold on to the ball. Possibly, possibly, you know? possibly, John. But our big pack is coming into it now. Our scrum is not functioning, but I think we'll come into this game. I think, I, think so. we, I think we'll come into this I game. I said this to you against Carlo. I think Tullo are due a big performance, and I haven't seen it yet, but I think it's coming. We had a pretty good performance against a tie. Carlo was mediocre. But this is, hopefully the second half will turn it around. It was a big win there. And I know we have a big score, Johnny, but and Adam is kicking brilliantly. So that's yeah. the thing. I think that as well, Tullo have shown their capability to play with the wind. Like they're, they're carrying with the wind behind them, which is something you don't normally do. Yeah. But now they're, if they're carrying against it, they're well able to do it. Exactly. And they're playing well with it, you know. And I think, Johnny, that uh, Jordan Laburn will use the wind better for throw. It's easier to say to throw. Great throw that last throw. You know, that was a brilliant throw. Yeah. But they have worked on their line out. And Sean will get him in there and Morris and the boys. And yeah, it's it's, it's all to play for still, Johnny. Oh, still, yeah. it's this Towns Cup semi final. You know, you've lost five of them. That's Towns yeah. Cup semi final, and anything can happen. Like our, our yellow card. I thought it was severe, but the gory people said it wasn't, you know? No, sure, here, listening to him yeah. as well as I am. They're, to, me, all wrong. to me, it was it was probably a penalty. Maybe a, a yellow card was a bit severe. Yeah. But we'll have to play the referee, simple as that. Yeah. And we'll have to defend now for, what, eight, nine minutes? Yeah, nine minutes, minutes without him, yeah. Eight minutes, minutes without him, yeah. Without, without, uh, Scott, without yeah. Scott, but, uh, but I think if we stick to our game plan, as I said, play the percentage game, and it's, it's very good that Gory didn't score in that half. Yeah, well, that, that is a huge credit to him. That's a fair, huge yeah. credit to him. And, and our, our defence is up and we, uh, playing well. No, they're very our good on defence. Our defence are yeah. playing well. So, therefore, and we'll have to use our subs. Have to. They're vi- I think they're vital today. Vital today. Yeah. And we'll have to get in. Our our, 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 yeah. our front row will have to come in at yeah. some stage. Yeah. Don't know, early or late, whatever. But, but Gory have a fine pack there. Big scrum and all that. So, We'll wait and see what happens in the second yeah. half, but it could go either way. Still, could go, know. yeah. I'm, 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 I'm hopeful more than confident, Johnny. Well, that'd be the same now, yeah. Joe. Thanks yeah. for coming in with me, Pat. No I appreciate you. that. Thank you. That was Pat the Red Light. We're going to take a commercial break there for a few minutes, and we'll join you back uh, in the next few moments. Thanks. I was Sam. I was Sam.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Alcaz Park. There's eight and a half on the clock for the sin bin here for Tullo Scott O'Sullivan. Second half, for those of you only tuning in now, score is 24 points to nil in favour of Tullo. Gory now have the win behind their back. Kicking it towards Tullo. Tullo are now kicking it towards Ross. Uh, joined as course by John Noddy Breen. Gore, I call him a legend. He doesn't. He calls himself a, a lad that's around the park a long time. How, how are we looking for the second half, Not It's a great kickoff. It's a great start there. Scrum for Gory here. Another scrum. Great start for Gory. Another scrum. This is the first time actually they've been in the 22. But well, you know why this is such an important scrum as well, John, is that the Tullow winger is on the bench, is is in the bin. Yeah. Which now makes Tullow go narrower. Yes. So if Gory can play with that weight that Tullow played with in the first half, they could get a nice handy one in the corner, a five at least. Well, they, the they need to score. And he, they need to score they need to get some now, change out of the century. To have any chance of yeah, getting absolutely. into this game. And then you don't know what's going to happen then, you know. Yeah, no, absolutely. They absolutely. need to score. So another scrum for those of you watching with us. It's been a great affair of scrums. They're pushing the shooting beforehand. The Gory set can roll something off the ground, yeah. But for those of you actually who have been listening all the way through our man of the match competition, 50 or one for all voucher to be won up for grabs. So if you comment below on the YouTube video with your pick for man of the match, uh, and if you match Noddy's pick, we will be stopping the competition with five minutes left in the game and announcing it then at 77 or 78 minutes gone. So I'll give us time to count them up and do a tally. So if you comment below on the YouTube link here, uh, of who you think wins man of the match for the Tolo versus Gory Provincial Towns Cup semi final. Great push by Gory. You're in with a chance to win 50. Great push by Gory. And uh, they went Don't blind you. rather than wide when Tolo were loaded on the, on the blind. So. Gory are attacking the Tolo five here. They're carrying it well. They're getting around the corner. It's a, a, a more aggressive Gory than we've seen in the first half. Carl Fisher oh, stole the ball, us. but they come back for a penalty. They do have a penalty advantage. The ref is wearing yellow t shirt, that is correct. The lad here from Gory just telling us what colour t shirt the referee is wearing. It is yellow. Um, I think the yellow card change now has happened already. I don't think there'll be too many more, hopefully. Gory with a penalty five metres out. On the 15 metre line here on the Tullo. Yeah, side. they're going to the line out. Yeah, which is a uh, strange call. It is, because you're not guaranteed it with that win, John. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's no guarantee of getting a win in a line-out with that win. And Tullo's mall defence has been very good, to be yeah, fair. Yeah, yeah, uh, And the line of disruption with a six-foot-nine lad in the front of your line-out there. Getting over that lad is a challenge on its own. Gory Colin, have it. Colin Gory's gone around onto the ball. Pull down. Collapse there, I think it's fairly enough. Collapse. Yeah, it is. He's called it fair. I can't see the referee with, uh, with uh, the dugouts. And a score, he might spend a few pounds extra and lay out the pitch a bit better for lads like me and Noddy. Gory are working towards the Tullow goal post here. Just on the five metre line, Tullow's defence has to be tight here. Jordy Keane, great carry, carry with Jordan, Jordan yeah. Big carry there. Stephen Duffy is sideways looping and turning and twisting. Mark Yo has gone in and over. Mark Yo in and over under the post. That is a good try, a very well worked team try by Gory. And they got it through the middle as a post out in the edge. What's worrying from a total defensive perspective, Noddy, is Stephen Duffy might as well have went back to Wicklow and came back here <laughs> in that final time he had with the ball in his hand. He actually created it. Yeah. Johnny cut and no one he, near him. Yeah, and he caught the guy. Uh, he caught Mark coming onto it really good. The timing was excellent. The timing by Mark. The run by Mark Kill was excellent. What's interesting to see now is Duffy is not kicking for goal. No, Neil Byrne is, yeah, Neil Neil Byrne Byrne is, is kicking for goal. And yeah. has been. Yeah, and Duffy's Duff, been excellent off the tee. He is, but this guy is... Yeah, play the ruby rather than worry about kicking as well. Really brilliant kick. Yeah, it's, yeah, it seems to be like yeah, that now. He's, he hasn't missed a kick the last three Very games, composed. I think, Johnny. He may oh. have missed one in the three games yeah. in the last three games. That now puts score, everyone, to 24-7 with a minute and a half gone in the in the second half here. And Tullo still seven minutes without 14 full or 15 full complement. That's, that's not that much, Johnny, I think. Just a minute and a half gone, yeah. Okay. We started at 52. Okay. Half. The next 10 now. Yeah, a lot of slow territory up in the solo half early. Uh, that went 10, went to, went to sloppery, but better kick like that and make it harder to deal with. The bigger the man, the harder the bend. But low high shins. So if he's going to use that wind, I can tell you. But not a great kick. Out in the full. No, it's not. It's out not, in the full. It's not. No, it's not. Well, Murphy is called oh, out in the full, Noddy, yeah. It is, because it's Now, Noddy, 
Sorry, Johnny. You're going to start nagging me like all these other gory folks. You better recite me, Johnny. Uh, no, no, he's out in the pool. Willie Murphy, Murphy dropped his pen there. Yeah. It's very important Willie has that viral. Who will play X's nose with mother eyes? So Tullo now have the line out right in front of the clubhouse. Uh, halfway between, a little bit inside, uh, halfway between the 10 and 22. On the far side of the field here. Jordy will hit his target. Be glad he will. Sean O'Brien at the tail. Pop down to Stevie Smith. Another good, good carry by Stevie Smith. That chap put his head in a place. You wouldn't put your shovel. Well, every, oh, great carry by Sean there. Well, met well by Frank Kavanagh. Sorry, need to hold out here. This not the... Colin need to jump out of this now. Like a little solo. Great carry. Coming back towards the goalpost now. Martin Cole. Great carry by the, the Silverback Tiger. Ryan O'Neill, great pass by Ryan there. Carry to Sean. Great half by Gareth to Sean. Sean spins and he's over the line. Sean O'Brien scores a try for Tullow in his first ever Provincial Towns Cup semi-final, might I add. And, uh, the boy is living out his dream. I, I never mentioned that. Yeah, I went all game without mentioning him. That was a great response by Tullow. Yeah, and, and needed to get him back in the cause. But, yeah, yeah. but it all stemmed from uh, poor clearance by Gorey. They should have... A missed kick by Stephen again. A missed kick. You know, yeah, you know miss errors kick. again. Again, costing them. That's a cost them again for us. But look, at, it's still a long way to go. Yeah, and that's that's just what we, we mentioned. Because I, I normally don't mention him a whole lot here. But Sean, as he said, this is his first ever Towns Cup semi-final uh, to play in. Uh, he's been involved in many of them at the club as a coach and a spectator over the years. But that, uh, he wants to live out his boyhood dream and, and play in a Towns Cup final for his club. He was nearly pushed up to an odd by, by uh, higher-ups a year ago. But... For lucky played his year in AS then and got his uh, got his wish granted to play his for his local club this year, which has been vitally important. But it's great to see him actually back with his club. There's not too many guys There's from none. Their club. I don't know of any. No. I don't know of anyone who's done what Sean O'Brien has yeah. done for Tullow. And for and for South East even as well. For South East yeah. rugby, you know, yeah. like he's a great asset to us. And it's a for a man that's been a lion. Uh, the top one of the top sevens in the world. Yeah. You know, it's a great achievement to have him back in Tullow. Yeah, and there's something as well we failed to mention. I know we just mentioned it there with South East, but there's three South East teams in the Towns Cup semi finals today. Ourselves, obviously, in Gorey here today. We have Tullow and Gorey here today with ourselves on commentary. And then there's Wicklow and Ashburn. So we had hoped that there will be a South East team in the final, at least. And uh, it's great to keep the Towns Cup down in the South East. That's a penalty there for our side entry against Ake Dura Solo. But for eight consecutive years, the South East team have been in the final. Or you so, need to respond here now. They need to get something. Yeah, I think a, a, even a three-pointer. Yeah, they're going they're to the corner. corner. Corner, Johnny. They have to go, Johnny, because it's too far. Where is the... With their 29-7, like their 22 points. Yeah, that whole le- electronic scoreboard there, score they have is great, isn't it, for us? Yeah, like, it's it, it's three tries and another score to get... Yeah. Worth of tries to get back. And I can't not see them scoring a few tries. Oh, they will score. They'll, they'll score a few tries because they banged in that one. They're very handy. Well, it's know. very hard to see them getting uh, four. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Without, no. without answer from Tullo. No, they, no, no. They, they might get them, but there might be an answer from Tullo. Jordy's going very well there. He's carrying very well. Oh, he's a great player, Jordy. Oh, penalty advantage. That was a very silly thing to do there by Scott Colbeck. He just dived off his feet completely in front of the referee to get a shot in for no reason. A valuable reason, anyway. Stephen Duffy chipped through. Oh, oh. Aka has that. They won't give that try. No, but he's given. Duffy's type of fella, though, can create hatting for you with them kind of things, you know. That was a great, great little chip by Stephen. Yeah. And the blind, it was actually blindside winner came across in the in goal area. Yeah. Nothing anyway, and copped him. So, very good. But that's a silly penalty by Scott to give away now, to be fair. Puts him back under a bit of pressure when there's no need because Tullo's defence have been. Relatively good. The defence has been excellent uh, in the first half. Sure, they never let Gorey gain any foothold really in their in their deep in their half at all. Yeah, in the first no. half. Well, Andy, we must be lo- lost on time because I thought he had another three minutes left. But we're not going to start another yellow card scandal like there was one in the press of the game last week. Oh, the like, touches have brought him back on. Oh lord, that's a big. Oh, Gorey have it. We'll have it back. Tullo lost the forward in the recont- yeah, yeah. recontest there. Yeah. Tullo back to full compliment there for anyone watching and listening. 15 again on 15. Go back for the knock, knock on advantage, on. Yeah. yeah. Scrum here for Gory. Yeah. Oh, glorious scrums. We probably have more scrums than there is points on the board, you know that? I would think so. I'd yeah. say there's up in the, up in the, the 20s anyway, scrums. Yeah. Hey. Oh, but sure, look. It's hard to know many. I, uh, there's a lot of scrums in the game. But you can't have the game without it because then you become league. Yeah. You have to have the scrum to have you to have keep to. the identity of the union, you know. Um. 
And it's a great attacking platform as well, to be fair. Now Gory have the scrum here, just uh, Tolo, just probably on the 15 meter line, free kick for an early push. But that's another thing where I use as well, because should the scrum have put the ball in, it was set and ready to go. Call the scrum again. I think uh, Tolo just nudged it before yeah. the ball was in. That's all it was. Yeah, it's something they normally don't do. Normally they're very, very yeah. disciplined at the scrum time. I have lots of interesting conversations with Louis Kakine during the week. How was the scrum? How was the scrum? Uh, I always tell him it was crap. Never going to praise Louis, you know. <laughs> a good stalwart of the club too, coming from the Brown family and in kind. In fairness, the Gory scrum has been good today now, you know. Been very, good. Very, well, very good. Very good. But Gory have a very good scrum. Very I remember scrum. last year in the league going down to watch Gory play Kilkenny and Kilkenny yeah, went to on contestants. Yeah. He picked it too early, could have got a penalty over that. Jeez, he's nearly in. There's a lot of sloppy ball here. He's crawling and lost it forward, I thought. But they lost they lost the ball forward, I thought, Noddy. I, I thought so too. But anyway, Gory have penalty advantage. Probably could see another yellow card here now. Um, right under the goal post here, attacking. They're going back to the left towards the clubhouse. Oh, Met by Yahoo. So you don't that's want to run into that man, Stephen Duffy's playing. Oh, that's a penalty off, offside there. No, it's a penalty. He's yeah, yeah, no, it, it, that's what the ball was stopped for. It should be a penalty, absolutely. Again, this man is telling everyone that the referee's t shirt is yellow. He's right, though. He, he, he's 100% right. It's luminous yellow, I'd even stretch to say. <laughs> penalty right, 186 on the five meter line. Corey playing a lot of rugby here now. Penalty move. They're going for the five. I think that could have been offside there. Not the right place to be going. Not running into Martin Cole, and yet, geez, you'd find a smaller man to go at. Holy Jesus. They're nearly there. They're yeah. very near it. They get a try, yeah, not. Uh, now, I get caught with this one because all the way to the water, it is a try. He jumped the breakdown, which is illegal. Jumping the rook. As a peak, so you, you'd wonder because I know if Willie Murphy was refing, he wouldn't have awarded that. But it's a, it's I, didn't, a, I didn't mind that. John. It's a strange one to no, see. I didn't see that, but anyway, but the goal, no, and nonetheless, the try is awarded. And I put that 29 12 now conversion to come. Yeah, they a, they, if they can get another score now, it'll put the nerves a bit. They yeah, need to get another score now fairly quick. The only thing is, Cullen responded very well to the last score at 14 players. Yeah. So, will they respond as well now to this one? With 15, hard to know. Um, he's lined up his kick now. There's no it's shot. It's a big kick for Gory now. Yeah. Well, he puts it in three tries. If he misses this, he puts it in four scores. That's a great kick. He kicks it right between That's the sticks. That's a great kick. Right between the sticks, yeah. Now, that now puts it at 29-14. Yeah. A 15-point game. So it's still a three-score game, but it's not three tries. It's like a good... What's the time, Johnny? He's about 10 gone, I'd say, is there? Well, I had it at 10, but Scott came on very early, so I'm going to... I'm going to see if I can get a nail a touchy there because it's, as Larry Canavan always told me, if a match starts at the three, it's over at half four. That's the way I would. Yeah, so there's 27 left. Yeah. If that's where we're going off Larry Canavan's expertise, which I've not yet to question. Um, So I'm going to go with that. There's 27 left. And if I'm wrong, I'm blaming Larry. Gory need to deal with this Adam one. Adam drives now. this one along and blow him back. Penalty to Tullo. Side entry. Gory have been. I've been doing this a lot at the first breakdown. Going off the feet. another mistake by Gory. And when they really need it, just to set that up and get it out of there. Kick it the length of the field. You know? Yeah, just bury it down. Let Tullo play back over. Yeah, yeah exactly. Play like a territory. It, we've given Tullo, geez, a foothold here now, right. That's a great kick. Yeah, it's just uh, inside there. Just inside 22. 22. Yeah, yeah, that's a great kick there by Adam. To be fair. But a penalty, not a, no need to give away that penalty. A silly penalty. Yeah, and straight towards the referee. Yeah, yeah. First breakdown at every restart, the referee's always at. Yeah. You can do that in the second and third one, you'll never get away with the first one. But you know? Look at my thinking on that. That should have been straight down the pitch. Oh, the mini card, yeah, pull yeah, it to your yeah, 10 and go. Yeah, yeah. Tullo have caught the ball and went mauling. They're going mauling. We have a. Tullo are firing lads into this. 
They're firing lads into this. They're mauling well. Colour mauling well. Now you just watch your microphone there. Now go to Varnas. Colour mauling well. Yeah, another try for Tullo. Another try for Tullo. A mall try for Tullo. Well yeah. worked team try. And responded very well. The Gorilla has a bit of frustration there. A lot of frustration there. But nonetheless, another five points for Tullo. I think Gorilla made that mistake. This shouldn't have been in this position. Yeah. Well, like we've been saying the whole game. I say people, it's Gorilla mistakes, Gorilla mistakes. And it is. It's, it's not as if we're just saying it and talking it down as if Tullo are playing good rugby. Because they, at times they are. Error there, they should be and burying that down the field. That's the two last two scores you know? have come from errors, in my yeah. opinion. In the second half, absolutely. Score now reads 34 to 14 with conversion to come. Adam Johnson just on the 22 meter line here, halfway between the 15 and 5. Conversion to come. Um, lots of irate uh, Gory supporters here. They're looking for cards, they're looking for penalties, they're looking for everything. Passing for the Irish Laha numbers, I'd say you might get them too. Johnson struck that beautifully. Absolutely beautiful kick. kick. Straight that through the middle is, of the sticks. That is with the wind kick. against him and going across him. A great kick. That is an exceptional kick, lad. Really. An exceptional kick. I think Tolo needs that maybe emptying the bench here. Bringing in a few change. Uh, I get in text about man of the match. Uh, who it is, I want to change my vote. I won't tell you the truth. I'm just going to tell you a lie. Whatever you ask me, yeah, that's the man of the match. Noddy picks that, not me, folks. And I have no input on Noddy's thinking. Oh, Colin Gorry misjudges that ball. Taken by Tighead Tom Cashin. Offloaded to Stevie Smith. Stevie Smith breaks three carries, three tackles of Gorry men. Full of need of patience. This is what Gorry needs to be doing, Noddy, when they get the ball back like this. Patience and a setup. Nice and controlled. Hit the 10. Now they're going to the edge earlier. Adam Johnson will always step back inside. And he sometimes finds change. He found it there. They need to have patience now. Tom Cashman had a merciful clean out there. Garrett, Garrett wants to carry. I remember coaching Garrett as a youth. He wore a scrum cap and wanted to be an eight. And he was smaller than what he is now. But we were well with him. Let's see how he got on. Rory not entering as many lads into the breakdown here. We're putting a lot of lads into the tackle. Which is more beneficial. You get more change out of that. We're getting oh, a penalty. Sean O'Brien could not move the back row for Corey. Ewan Stevens. He couldn't move him off the ball. Over. A uh, shout there to Robert Davies, an ex-Tullo player, actually won a Gale Cup in Tullo, listening to us in New York, and Mick Jackman, listening to us there in San Francisco as well. Sean O'Brien gives away a penalty for uh, use, of, use of the mouth. Wouldn't uh, you never put that in the same sentence, would you, as use of the mouth and penalty against him, would you? Duffy goes for the corner. A lovely kick. A nice kick, kick by nice Stephen kick. Duffy, to be fair. I think Stephen might end his rugby playing days in Gory, will he? Uh, my brother so. Joe, Joe's yeah, your... Joe's still with us there, and, I, and uh, he, Joe's very highly thought of in the club. Oh, well, highly thought of in all rugby circles, great, that Joe great, is, to be fair. Great coach. I have a lot of time for Joe, personally, and, and professionally, great coach, yeah. Stephen, a great player, he's been in Wicklow, of course, won the Towns Cup there. Done well in Dallas Al Palmerston as well in his time there. And now down playing his trade in Gory with the brother, as Joe's head coach in Gory the last two seasons. Uh, that's a well taken down mall, great mall defence again, as I said, by Tullo. Gory will play with this. Now, I hope to God it doesn't go into a game of tennis where you score, I score. But uh, it might be a bit entertaining for you watching. Back. The ball has been knocked back, which is fair call because I think the Tuller will actually hit. Okay, carry now there by Gory. Frank having a great carry. He goes back left to right. Duffy pops it up. Kevin Brown carried there, the hooker for Gory. Great carry. Isaac, the border, as you've all heard. Oh, he's turned the wrong way. He completely turned the wrong way, yeah. Now, but yeah, he went off the ball, had to release and did in time. Tullo needs to be disciplined here, no penalties. That's penalty to Gory. No, no release there in the mall. Like I said earlier, we've lots of referees here around us. All going through their badges in the summer. Yeah, two Gory men arguing over and shouting for the same team. 
not many colour lads within a hundred kilometer radius of me here. They're all the far side of the field in case I nail them for a microphone. Duffield puts in the right area of the field. Gory attacking well down the tull at 22, 15 metres out. Going wide here. Two passes would have done it. Carried hard. Should have given it. Maybe when he got a bit of an edge. Work back towards the goalpost. That's a great tackle by Gareth Fitzgerald. There's a turnover, I think. I think so. Yeah. I think so. Tuller having a turnover. It, yeah. Led from a great tackle by Gareth Fitzgerald. Penalty to Tuller not rolling away. Penalty to Tuller. Yeah. Or Tuller, yeah. Gory making change. We're going to bring in. Bring in the experienced Ben Horn. Joe is trying to get uh, Ken's attention to bring on Ben Horn. And they are bringing off. Who are they bringing off, Todd? No one yet. Oh, second row. Second row. Uh, Tom Jemison is coming off their second row. I think so. So Isaac will go into second row. Yeah, and Ben will go to the back row. Ben's yeah, a fantastic player, row. isn't he? Yeah, a great player. Both bit of stuff. Yeah. As are, are all the horns. If well done, Thomas. If he, actually, if he'd another couple of stone on him, yeah. Like if he's Philly size, he'd be brilliant. If he fill size, yeah, he'd be right. Well, Thomas Jameson there has played very, very well and been a great carrier, great defensively. Kind of bit of a knock there now. Yeah. The score for everyone listening and watching there is thirty six pull up fourteen to Gory, uh, and there is about twenty left in the half. Again, if you want to get your comments there to the KF Media on YouTube, uh, who your man of the match is, being with a chance to win a fifty euro one for all voucher. Sponsored by Property Partners, O'Brien and Sway and Gorey. The line up I told her well taken there by Colin Gorey. I call a oh, knock on. I don't think he dropped it, but he called a knock on. He dropped it. Yeah. Uh, I'm too busy running promotions here to watch the game. You keep an eye on it there, Noddy. Watch it for you, Johnny. <laughs> don't worry. I keep an eye. And we also have a 50 euro cash uh, prize for um, the man of the match himself this time. Two changes by Tolo. Four Hughes. And uh, Brian Kyo, Buko they call him, an All-Ireland winner with Tullow in under-16s. Went all the way that year, an incredible team. It's great to see some of them back playing ball. They had went away for a few years after maybe a long old Saint under the Lar. Canavan, they're back now and playing their trade and playing it well. And well done to Jordan and Tom Cash and there. Put in a great shift to Tullow. 60 minutes, gone. One thing about Corey Hughes and, yeah. and Brian Kyo, not a great time to bring him on at scrum. Because they're saying he buckled, and normally he's used to call Buckle for booking other people, but he buckled himself there. He went down, yeah. He, yeah. Feet were back under him, and he just dropped. It's not a great time to bring on a sub half. No. No line now or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She is right in a scrum, a gory scrum going well. Wouldn't be a not the smartest decision now. Mm. But nonetheless, we are inside Tullow's 22, barely. Barely. Yeah, right. just barely. Just, just a ninja in it there, but we're in it. Gory line now. Kevin Brown to throw it in. Duffy could pull something out of this. The score is 34 16. Sorry, 36 14, rather. Gory have won it. Stevie Smith shot on a knock on. And the wind has slowed down a bit now, but it has been a fine day here in Alcast Park, nonetheless. It's been a great day. And then Scotty Pond, a good show, and a great crowd. Oh, there's a huge crowd. Yeah, great crowd, yeah. yeah. It's as big a crowd now as. You'll get a junior rugby match. Yeah, match. Yeah. It's a huge crowd. Well, the two clubs are only up the road, Johnny. Well, only a short spin, sure. Yeah, only a short, short spin. pitch up the road. And, yeah. and, uh, Couldn't have been anywhere better to play it, though. And so it's a great pitch. Yeah, and, 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 and for both clubs, geography wise. Yeah. Like, oh, geography. Tull 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 played Ashburn in the semi final a few years ago. They played him in Eden Derry. Well, well, that made sense, didn't it? Bill Duggan was pulling a favour there yeah, for Ashburn, I think. Yeah. Not saying anything bad about you, Bill. A great time for you. Great lad. Yeah. Bill listens to a lot of things I do, you know. I used to do a podcast one time with Casey Lahr. And he's been talking bad about Ashburn saying they're an aging team. We got Bill didn't take kindly to it. But nonetheless, <laughs> we're going to play here. Tullo playing well. Ryan O'Neill has tipped and gone a penalty to Tullo. Not 10. So we're going not 10. We'll take the adva Tullo will take the advantage. Yeah. So Ryan O'Neill is very, very excited here today. He's playing very, very well. As did he do against Carlo last week. Considering his inside man, Garrett, is actually an Irish 18 scrum half. Uh, it was interesting to see Gar or Ryan being selected ahead of him as at nine. But he's shown his worth here, nonetheless. Um, apparently now just halfway between the 10 and twenty, uh, ten and halfway of Tullo. Adam Johnson kicks it. And it's kept it's in by Gory. Oh, no, it's knocked on at the touch. I think. Should just nearly let it. I think Adam Johnson's actually hurt himself kicking that. He's a uh, calf. Yeah, calf. He he slipped on him as he was kicking it. Yeah, his calf is... Yeah, and he is not a player... You want to lose even with uh, a 20 point lead or an 18 point lead. He is not the player you want to lose. What are, what are they, Ned? No, 14, 22. 30. 
22, 22 points, points ahead, yeah. yeah. They're, they're three scores ahead, and they've, Oof, they've, they've kind of maintained that. Oh, they're, yeah. they're going to rotate Oren Farrell back on. Oren Farrell is going to come back on, which is a good sign. See that he's actually not hurt, that he can return to play. Oren is a fantastic fullback. Done his club rugby in Castle Knox School, and I came to SETU Carlo then with me, and has ended up in the maroon and white ever since, and is enjoying himself here. So it's good to have him. It's great to have lads like these when they're in the college playing locally, at least, you know. It sure is. The old college is <laughs> handy up there. Yeah, and Tullo, Tullo give back the ball to Gorey with a crooked throw. He gives the free kick now, so it'll be interesting to see Gorey, will they run this or scrum this? I'd say they'll scrum it. I'd say they'll scrum it and look for a penalty off the scrum. They got a penalty off the They're going to kick I it. They're going to kick I it. I, I, touch. I don't know. I don't know they what, Johnny. Kick, kick it to the very... Kick it across far field. Oh, Jesus Christ. Two of the best attacking threats yet. Tullo have. They're kicking it. A, like... Yeah, now then, Gorey need to meet this guy now. It's a great carry by Oren Farrell and a great pick there by Tullo. By Aka. Aka Dura Solo, who joined us from Fiji this year. Broke his leg early in the season. It's actually this only his third game to play for the, the first since returning. It's a great clear out there by Tullo. They need to go early with this. Oh. Wasn't a great pass by Sean O'Brien. He wouldn't be renowned for his skills, eh? His carrying and his tackling, maybe, but. Another good carry by Colin Gorry. Very steady. There's a gap there. No, yeah, yeah, they're not looking at these gaps in the blinder. No, no. They're playing That's the same. That was a great tackle. That's a great tackle. Ben tackle. Horn. <laughs> Someone yeah. give Ben had a sniper yeah. lined up there. He took Martin Cole well out. It did. It's not called. No. We're doing this commentary first night. We're, 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 not call, we're calling things and we're wrong. We might as well say nothing, would we? <laughs> We've been right the odd time, Johnny. <laughs> well, sure. Because the fellow once said, it's better keep your mouth shut. And if people think you're stupid, then open and prove them right. So we'll go ahead and we'll see what happens. Another pass by Sean there now. Garrett with a step. Yeah, a gap presented itself and Garrett took the opportunity. What's worrying here for Tullo is Martin Cole has not regained his feet. And Ben Horn has actually stole the ball, gave away a penalty. Someone oh, penalty is Sean here. Mountain. Yeah. I'd say he's going to give Sean a yellow card here. I'd say he is. He's hand in the pocket. No, I don't think he is. He's Someone. No, it's not Sean. Oh, it was Sean. Sean. He called over Scott to warn him. But Martin Cole hasn't moved since Ben Horn hit him. Uh, so that means only one thing, and this is not a good thing for Gorey. Joe Waters is coming in. And Joe Waters is an absolute hank of a man. Ewan Stevenson has left the field there now as well, yeah. as is young, um, George. young George Slattery. And George young Slattery, the scrum half. Very young George. Has, yeah. um, played very well during the year. He's had a good season. He's a good game there today as well. Yeah, he's had a good game today. Seamus yeah. Tompkins has gone in and What's gone in there now? Who? Keen Lee Malloy. Keen Lee Malloy, yeah, gone in there. Yeah. Could be two good additions too, though, not. Ben Horn hasn't lost a step anyway, good to see. No, he surely hasn't. Ben gives you tackling, he has. Tackling yeah. yours like that every week, I'd say, as well. And Keep him on the pitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's a lad in front of us now, Carlo Nationals, Chaz Murphy. Go look at a team by 100 points, and Chaz has said, oh, lucky, wouldn't you, Chaz? Oh, they'd be lucky, he'd say. Bit of break and play here as Martin leaves the field. It's actually Stevie Smith. It's like Stevie Smith and Paddy, Paddy Murphy is coming in. Paddy has joined us as he moved up from uh, Limerick. He joined the guard in Shea there from the Army and is based in Carlow and joined us. Well, great to have Paddy. actually goes out with Noel Nolan, the ex-president's daughter. It's worrying Stevie, Stevie Smith being looks lost. Looks in trouble here, yeah. He's lost left in the game. There is He's in big trouble here. 12 left in it as we're stopped. So we're going to stop that man in the match competition in about five minutes. And if you uh, get your comment in on the KF Media there on the, on the YouTube channel uh, of who your man of the match is and you're the same as Noddy, uh, we will uh, get in contact with you then and give you a 50 or a one for all yeah, voucher. That's a good kick by Stephen. Yeah, very good kick by Stephen. Duffy. That is sponsored by uh, Property Partners O'Brien and Swain Gorey. And also this match is brought to you by SETU Students Union, a representative body for all students on all campuses of SETU. Quick line up by Gory up there and moved well. Maybe looking to get a consolation score here. Um, Paddy Murphy will be hungry for work and hungry to hit lads. He's as strong as a horse. Great addition to have. Very physical, very aggressive. One thing, oh, I lost the ball, ball, but one thing now you have to say about Gory, even though the score is 36 14, they have never, ever stopped. 
No, they will they keep have going. kept going yeah. and kept battling. Yeah. And that's a testament to not only the club, that's a testament to Joe Duffy and his coaching team and everyone around him, that they will go for him. You know, and that, that's great to see. Look, at it is. It is. The, the, they love playing for Joe. And uh, I, he, look, at he, he gets the best out of him. It, did, it hasn't worked out for him today, Johnny, but, like, that's a very experienced Tullow team. Like yeah, I know it is. That team didn't just arrive here today. It's been no. built over a long number of years. It has been. It's been, yeah, it's, it's been work it's in progress. It's been a long, long time. And I always put this comment to people, like, like this Tullow team, and, and I part Tullow team for the next three or four years, has been testament to the work of Larry Canavan yes. and these lads who have been coaching and plugging away. And they're getting the rewards for now. Like, Larry's coached nearly every one of these boys. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, and has been involved in the same at the women's level, like I said earlier. Yeah. Our women are going for an AIL playoff, like Tullow's women. Um, like, it's an incredible time in, in, in the club for them and this group of players, and they're going very, very well. But, uh, in fairness to Tullow, they're playing a lovely brand of rugby there. They're trying to... It's, it's they're actually playing rugby rather than 10-man rugby. Yeah, because they used to be renowned <laughs> yeah. for... They kill you. Yeah, ten yeah. Man. This, look, they're trying to get the play from everywhere, and they're That's nearly it. there. They're nearly out. Oh, That's Jay's a great shot. This man has Stephen. Oh, he has Stephen for speed, anyway, and he has this lad for strength. No. Liam Byrne tackles him well. Him. Yeah, great tackle. Well, a penalty for Gory there. And that's great defence by Young Byrne and full back. Absolutely Byrne. brilliant. Great defence, bit of off the ball, scuffies, but we call them handbags. We never get involved in that. Watch, Nutty. We can't really see what's no, going no, on. No, we just call it off the ball handbags for anyone can't see it. Sean's been told, let's get out. Paddy Murphy, like I said, he, he loves the physicality and he's shooting straight in there. So we have. That's a great tackle by Neil. Yeah, Byrne. very well done because you could have given up there and just let him go. Um, and he didn't. He ben said, Horn's in trouble here. He's either getting a knock. I think I so. I think he kick in the face. Do you know when he went to tackle? I think so. I think the boot popped up, yeah. Popped up and got him in the face. Yeah. 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 He's gone anyway. I think so. That's unfortunate for Ben. Yeah. It's Ewan Stevenson back on. But the only thing I will say, and I will like to see it, is that the, it doesn't become a dirt fest now. Oh, no. And it stays a good old game, you know, because it's been a great game. Yeah, great game, Johnny. Yeah, and good contest between both sides. Good, fair contest, yeah. and there was nothing. Be, there was, do you know? I didn't actually see what went on there because the... the, the ah, uh, handbags, we won't worry about The thing is in our way here, the dugout, we can't really see anything. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We make a head of score. He spent a few bob and designed this better for me and you. Sink the dugout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or rise us up. Yeah, rise us up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to new heights, to new heights. Yeah. Uh, so we have about, I'd say, three minutes left in that competition, folks, if you want to get in an entry to it. Uh, just text on that that uh, live link there on KF Media. The game is brought to you by SETU Students Union. And that 50 or man of the match, um, one for all voucher. If you win it, is sponsored by property partners O'Brien and Swain. And my good co commentator here to my left has sponsored a 50 or cash voucher towards uh, the man of the match himself. Uh, Gory, great line out from us, an excellent line out. No competition by Tuller, which is surprising. Gory moving well here, left to right. Oh, oh, bit of journey, big oh he ran into Akatu on a solo, and he's due a few hits because. Joe Waters they're touched they're that. On, Everyone's on. on. on, on, on. Had Jack Hanlon in the backfield, a good, steady footballer from Bald Glass. But he'll run it though because he don't like kicking it. And he'll run it well. He's bouncing off, lads. For a small man, Noddy, he's very strong. He surely is. Very strong um, pair of feet there. He's, uh, he swiveled around two or three times there, Johnny. Joe Waters on now is a huge addition because Paddy, Paddy, Paddy Murphy and Joe Waters now will be two very good carriers. Very, very aggressive. Lads, they want in the last 10 minutes. Martin Cole on the carry now with Joe running in behind him there. Great support. He just fired Stephen Duffy out of the way. Jordan. Actually, Jordan, yeah, which, <laughs> which is even more surprising because he's a big man. That was a sloppy ball now. Scott went done, done well there. Scott Callback, a poor, very poor pass. Got done well to retain it. He does not have to let him up here. Absolutely correct. He has to make an attempt. But I think he was injured, so that's why the referee blew it. He's hurt on I it. think he hurt himself going on the ball, so he couldn't make an attempt to get up. Which is very fair During to the referee. last couple of minutes, Johnny. We're going to close that now in a minute. That uh, Man of the Match award, we close it. We 60 seconds left, so get your hex in or your comments in there to KF Media. Five minutes or so left. Yeah. We'll stop that though, so we can get a count on it. Not. There's 8.43 left. Oh, Jay. Oh, yeah. There's, there's eight, eight minutes, minutes 43 minutes yeah, seconds. Yeah. Well, we're on stoppage again. So you, once we keep stopping and starting, it's very hard and very easy to lose track of time. But uh, the final of this Provincial Towns Cup this year is actually held in, I have to get this name right here, I'll be crucified, County Carlo FC um, uh, this year in their 150th anniversary. 
uh, they host the final. So uh, it's lo- it, it is going to be Tullo in the final. And the question is, there's no doubt about it. The question is, is the Hashburn or Wicklow? And uh, Carlo will be gritting the teeth to see who it is, who brings the bigger crowd because all they'll want is their bar. That's all they'll want. Tullo will enjoy that day. Ah, I do will, sure. and, and and rightly so. And if, yeah. uh, you know, I know they're a great club. Yeah, club. yeah, yeah. Mar- and car- marvelous club. Accidental crossing, I think. I don't know. What is that that happened, lad? He's given a scrum. I don't know what it is. It should have been a scrum. It shouldn't have been a free kick. It should have been a scrum, yeah. Joe was calling it here. When Scott went down on the ball and it wasn't playable, it should have been a scrum to Gory. And he actually gave them a free kick to play with it. So he's given. He's, he's, he's recalled it now for the scrum. So yeah. eight left. So we'll give you another minute or so then on the competition. And because there was eight left with the stoppage there. And if you pick the same man as Noddy, you're in for a chance. Can win a 50 euro one for all voucher. A big scrum. A great Tullo. scrum by Tullo, absolutely. Uh, the ball is out. So the ball is out, which is most importantly because Gordy can play with it, but that was an absolutely very dominant scrum by Tullo. Mm. And I think they're on the ball here now in the carry anyway. They need to get up now and roll away. Gordy still have the ball and they're attacking in. They're on Tullo 15, inside deep, inside Tullo 22, just on the five nearly now. Stephen put him in the right place, he does. Oh, Mark. Oh, it was Mark. Yeah. Mark has been relatively quite nod. Yeah, he has. For been. a player of his ability and a player of his standard. And he is a lovely player. Lovely fantastic player. young man, yeah. yeah. Fantastic young player. Yeah. Neil Byrne, good oh, carry he's there. Knocked on here. Knocked it on again. Yeah, Neil Byrne, unfortunately. Yeah. Neil dropped Done so well to make a recovery hit and then. It's just been error after error though, unfortunately, for going here's Joe Waters, a big carry. Joe Waters only take took up the rugby late. Brendan Hennessy killed me if I didn't mention that Joe won a Joe McDonough Cup a hurler with Carlo. Probably the only thing they ever won, but Joe Waters was on it nonetheless. Oh, there's Paddy Murphy, a great carry supported by Martin Cole. They've gone left to right. Adam Johnson has stepped off that left foot again and barrel over oh, Neil Byrne. Tackle. tackle. He gives you no change, does he, Neil Byrne? He's good defensively. A great little player. Great player to him. Yeah. An honest worker and works all day. Fairness, Gory are fighting all the way to the end here. There's oh, they're no staying right in it. There's no dying. Though. There's no dying. They haven't given. And that's something to take a lot of a lot of promise from. They're, they're on that. They're on that. that I think so. I think so. that's a huge yeah. penalty. Yeah, absolutely. I think they're on that. It was. Uh, They've tipped the went Richard they? Richard Deering, I think, or Jordan. Richard Deering, I think, is your man. Yeah. yeah. And Kev- Kevin has tipped and went, and why not throw oh, caution to win? <laughs> throw caution to win, Kevin Brown. He hasn't been quiet today. He's been good enough there. Yeah, he's been good. Active around the park, to be yeah. fair to him. As is this man, you and Stephen. Oh, here. oh great pass. That's a that great, was a fantastic that's pass. That's a great try. By and that was a try by Frank Kavner. That's Frank a great Kavner, try. Frank Kavner, great try. That's a great line. Great pass by Stephen. Stephen. Uh, Duffy, yeah, no, great. Brilliant pass. Doctors will score a bit now to 36-19. So, with a conversion to come. About five left, I'd say. Oh, I'd say. So, this man here is a stoppy starty for us. Yeah. Five Nine. left. So, we're going to stop that uh, man of the match competition there now. So, we'll get the count on, on it. And we'll let you know in two left minutes. Lads on the match. Who has been your man of the match in the Provincial Towns Cup Bank of Ireland semi final? We'll let you know in two minutes. And Noddy will make it now. The conversion two added by Neil Byrne. Yeah, that makes it going out 36 21. 36 21. Okay, so we have an interesting one here. We have uh, uh, five votes for Adam Johnson. And we go through the Tullow ones first. I could do a solo, two votes. Sean O'Brien, two votes. No doubt that came from the bog lane. And Stevie Smith. And then we have uh, Frank Kavner, Ewan Stevenson, and Neil Byrne got three votes, which isn't surprising. Neil Byrne has been very, very good, to be fair. So in a minute's time, I will get Noddy to tell you who he has picked for his man of the match, because we have a little chat about here and see which way we go. But uh, nonetheless, we have them votes there. It was a great drop off. Take them well. Gory are on Tullo's 10. With about four or five minutes, they're just knocking knock on. They're just knocking on. Yeah. Yeah, now we're just we're just doing a bit of debate here with Noddy. We're just figuring out who was who and 
I suppose a few notable mentions, a few players off both teams there. Stephen Duffy had a good game. Um, Neil Byrne, obviously a great game for Gorey. Uh, Mark Kelly, as I said, has been relatively quiet there for his standard. Um, Jordy O'Hearn has had a very, very good game for, for Gorey. But uh, on the Tullow side then, I think Stevie Smith uh, was probably up there with man of the match there. And she's Tullow kicking very deep in the Gorey half. Akadora Scully misses a hit. A great carry out. But with Stevie Smith there, we, we've... Uh, Great the, tackle on young Neil Byrne. Yeah, with Sean O'Brien, with Gareth for sure, like a duel of solo. Um, a few notable mentions. Ryan O'Neill was quite good as well, to be fair. Oren Farrell, very good. That's a great cross field kick there. And Gorey are on this. It bounces favourably for Gorey. He kicks it through. Sean will not give up here. He might win a he might not win a foot race. Oh. He missed the foot race. Adam Johnson is on and brings him down well. It's thriller stuff here. That's a happy They're five meters out from the line. Nobody near the ball. A penalty advantage. Straight off his feet, absolutely. The first time this game, I give, I agree with the glory lads. The, and, and that's a yellow card. It should be a penalty to try in that situation there, yeah. 100% there should be no argument. Even the Tullow players are saying it themselves. Yeah. Very, very cynical there. We'll, we'll, we'll keep the play going before we give this man a match because we thought she was dying down. Obviously, she's not. It's about three left. Yeah, 36-21. Two, Two minutes, minutes left. left. So yeah. if it's score comes, it'll be a conversion in it. Um, 15 points behind Gory are great defence again by Tullo oh, Kevin Brown carries through underneath the ground gets a try and gets a well taken score there by Kevin Brown that puts the score now to 36-26 conversion to come and I can't imagine there'll be a whole lot left at it's about 2 minutes yeah so not when we get that uh, conversion being taken we'll ask if we were man of the match there we will, we will. so as it's been taken there we'll see who Noddy goes with the man of the match He's been. He's not being bribed here by anyone. Anyone around watching? I was see. waiting to see was there anybody coming. There's near an envelope. There's near an envelope. No, 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 no. Yeah. So not who have you went with? Well, I fire going with with there's a number of good players on it, but I think Adam Johnson has been the most outstanding player for Tullo today. So there, so he's the man of the match. There you have it. That's Noddy Breen's man of the match. Tullo 15. Adam game. Johnson. He has had a good game to be fair, and that has been struck to the right or left and wide. Didn't get. That's the only one he missed. Yeah, I haven't seen him miss all day today. Now. I think time is up, but I think the referee will let him play a minute, minute left. So, Tullo won't be in any hurry to come back either. So, so there are actually is five entrants for the man of the match for Adam Johnson, five people. So, I get them names and I get the, our uh, media guys here to do you a little raffle and see who comes out for the winner of that prize. Uh, and that is, of course, sponsored by Property Partners. O'Brien and Swain, Gorey, uh, President David Swain of Gorey Rugby Club, actually, a gent as well, who is there. Another great kick there by Adam Johnson. Oh, he's met well. He's met well. Gorey push right back into the 22. Should bury it down the field. Duffy will bury it down the field this time. Go, uh, too much height against the wind, catches and pulls it sideways. Jesus Christ, Jesus. Advantage, too many knock ons. I would say that will be it. Yeah, that's the game. And that's it, Noddy. Is it? No. He's going to keep going. He's keeping so he going. A little bit of injury. He has a few stoppages. We're just working on this. Five votes here. For Adam Johnson. What's that? Oh, I thought that was it, but there's a... Oh, it's just now. A lot of injuries in the last scrums. So, the five votes for Adam Johnson are the Morganic, Daniel Whitty, Marcus McCormick, William Peter and Gavin Fitzgerald, the gaffer, all over the way over in Wales. So, gaffer, you wouldn't want a, a one for all voucher over in Wales, would you? So, the Morganic, you're going to get number one. Daniel Wheatley, you're going to get number two. Max McCormick, you're going to get number three. William Peter, number four. Gavin Fitzgerald, you're going to get number five. And we're going to put that into a random number generator right now. And the winner is number three, Max McCormick. Thank well done, Marcus. We uh, call out to you there during the week with that one for all voucher. Max McCormick actually owns DNG property. In Tullow, beside uh, Adam Johnson's granddad and father's shop and tailors. There's a penalty to Gory there. Gory, it's all action here, Nod. It's all action. action. For 10 in it. It's all action. There can't be a whole lot left. It must be. But, uh, but uh, there's been a great effort by Gory. Uh, just a little yeah. bit late, I think. Super effort, there. yeah. Super effort by Gory. To, to their credit. Yeah. So the winner of that 50 euro. They never give up. No, the winner of that 50 euro one for all voucher is Marcus McCormick from Tullow there. Picked Adam Johnson. So, well done, Marcus, and thanks to David in O'Brien and Swain Property Partners for sponsoring that. 
Now, well, Adam Johnson will get 50 euro courtesy of Noddy Breen. Thanks to Noddy for sponsoring that. On overthrow and a silly time to overthrow it. Hello, just settled in our now and kick it. Up up the jumper here for a minute or two, see what's left. I, I think it's over. You can't go for it. There's 10 minutes left. Or 10, 10 points between it. It's going out. That's it there. And that's it. That's all she has, Noddy. Johnny, thanks for today. There's the red. Thank you very much. Johnny. Thanks for joining me. Johnny, thank you very much. It's been great. Pleasure, Johnny. Pleasure. So the score has been 36-26 in favour of Tullo. Yeah. A great contest, a great game, and Gory, to their respect, and uh, have never, ever let off, right to the final whistle. Credit to their club coaches and all here supporting them. And I want to thank Noddy and KF Media for having us here today. It's been great. And SETU Student Union for sponsoring the game. Yeah. Uh, we we're going to grab a few lads for a few interviews here. But not... Great game. It was a great game, Johnny. Uh, look at on the day, the best team won. They had a bit more experience uh, about them. Uh, they had a little more threat in attack and and a bit more bulk up front. I think. Yeah, I think and so. They carried the ball very well and and they, they protected the ball well. And when they needed to get the scores, they got yeah. the scores. And sure, Sean got his own score there as well yeah. to, for himself. And absolutely, and I know we've mentioned this. Gory have only had three Towns Cup semi-finals, but this isn't the last we're going to see a Gory in the Princeton Towns Cup. I think this Gory team can be back, can earn their way to a final and can absolutely win it. They just need time with Joe and time with the coaches and to build themselves as a squad. I agree with you, John. Yeah, I think there'll be big threats yeah. and that, that year down in 1B by hardening these young fellas a little bit more for, for a Towns Cup rugby. That's it. You know? Okay. So thanks, Nod. I'll let you shoot off. I'm thanks very much. Pleasure the again. The best of luck to Tolo in the final. Cheers, Nod. We'll see you. So we'll grab, we'll grab a few lads here now for an interview and see how we go. We'll grab the red lad here. The red is my number one man here. Oh, red, put that up to your mouth there. Hi, Johnny, what do you think? Well, it's your Towns Cup semi or Towns Cup final, Pat, isn't it? Towns Cup final now, yeah. In County Carlo FC. In County Carlo, which is not too far for us to travel oh. anyway. But, uh, Johnny, I think we defended very well in the in the second half. Like, no, we, we, we kicked very little ball in the second half. We defended and our backs played well. We, 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 we tackled well. We did all the basics, which is necessary. No, absolutely. But we still have a lot of work to do, Johnny. Oh, there's lots, lots of work that, to do, that, yeah. That's a good, gory team. Very strong. You know, they yeah. came back at us and came back at us. And um, on Adam kicking made a big difference. You know, the great ones boot. he kicked, a great boot. But we're in a final now, and it's ours to win or lose. We seem to, we seem to be coming accustomed to these finals, Pat. Don't we? There was a time, Jesus, the Towns Cup semi-final. The Towns Cup final was a mile away, but it's not too far away oh, now. So it's great now, but mm. uh, Johnny, when, when you're on the crest of a wave like that, you have to stay going, you have to stay going. And now we have to go and win it. That's it, There's no point yeah. in going to a, a final now Not to and saying, oh, God, we're hard luck, we mm. should have won. But now we'll go, we'll compete. But that's the next experience, taller team. They're used to playing in finals, they're used to playing yeah, in semi-finals. Yeah, they've gathered up that experience. They have, they have experience.
we're just going for a quick ad break while the teams are in their huddle. Then after that, there'll be a few interviews from a uh, Gory president, David Swain, and then uh, former Ireland international and superb player today, Sean O'Brien, will join us uh, soon for an interview, so don't go anywhere. Just a reminder, Johnny's scouring the pitch at the moment, looking for David Swain and I say the former international or an Ireland international player, Sean O'Brien, to join us for an interview. So sit tight, we'll be back very soon with some groundbreaking uh, information and insights to that game. Good. Okay, so we're just going to present okay, Sean O'Brien here to present Adam Johnson, his man of the match here, sponsored by Property Partners, O'Brien and Swain, Gory, and a 50 euro one sponsored by Naughty there. Well done, Adam. Thanks very much. We're going to bring Sean in for a few words here. Uh, see what he thinks of today. Well, give me your thoughts on that. Yeah, obviously tough conditions for both, both sides. Um, I thought probably we managed the first half really well in terms of building scores and 
back to our set piece, back to our line out, back to our scrum. Uh, scrum was a bit messy, but we got to grips with it in the end. Um, yeah, it's a difficult day to play rugby, to be fair. So, but we knew, we knew Gory would have the win in the second half, and that we knew that they've quality in their side and they'll come back. So, um, you know, we were. I wouldn't say we were under the pump there at the end, but they got a few good scores off breakaways and stupid mistakes from us. And they made us work hard in the second half, so fair play to them. They win a great shift. Yeah, they stayed going right to the end there, didn't they? They got right back to a 10-point game. I, like. I said it to our lads during the week, because we played them now um, twice in the league, and they stayed going even when we, we were beating them at, at, in, the, in their place, and then they beat us at home. And that's what won them the game. They hung on to the last 10 minutes in, in our place, and... Got a couple of good scores because they have some very decent players in the team. Yeah, very young side. First of all, I know they got they got uh, demoted this year down to Division One B, but they'll definitely be around the Towns Cup again and, and big threats for the next couple of years. But for yourself personally, first Towns Cup semi final, yep. first Towns Cup final, childhood dream coming through. Get to play with your lads you've coached from that height to this height, and yeah. a big day for yourself today. Yeah, personally, I suppose. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice to do a full circle. I always said I try and get back playing with Tullow at some point when I finished up and. Um, it's great. The boys are probably sick of me now at this stage, giving out and, and moaning at them. But I see, I see so much potential in the in the group that we have. Um, there's some great players there, great commitment, and that's what I said to them there at the end. Just the the work that we showed and w- that we did today just pulled through in the end. So you know, it was it was great all around, and you know, I'm delighted to be back, giving a hand and, and helping any way I can. Yeah, and it's a great buzz around the club as well. I know the seconds lost out to Tyler in the cup, but the women going fighting for AIL promotion, the lads going Towns Cup back to back finals. It's a lot of buzz going on the place. Katie Corrigan, Dan O'Brien playing for Irish women's team. A lot of positives until the rugby club. It's a great place to be and it's a great environment. It is, yeah. All the underage teams, you know, from the ground up are, are flying as well. You know, they're all in cup finals or league finals and um, that's just the way we want to see it. That we have a production line coming through and um, as you mentioned, some of the uh, women's internationals that we've produced and, um, you know, and representatives as well at Leinster Youth, South East, all that type of thing. So, it's great when you see that because we must be doing something right in the club in terms of development and uh, that's that's the, the aim is to keep that going and and hopefully see more people, you know, getting to that provincial and international level. Yeah, for a long time in Tullerubi Club there was one name synonymous with progression, that was Larry Canavan, but now it seems to be a whole cohort of people which is great. Listen, I won't hold you anymore. Well done. Thanks for coming over. Thanks, Johnny. And best of luck in the final. Thank you. Appreciate it.